Welcome everybody, I'm Gerald Wenzel and today I'm with four amazing people that used technology to help fight COVID in Finland. Please welcome with me the group that made it possible to track COVID throughout the country and help people get back to the normal lives. So uh, there was a team of volunteers who were already collecting the data before us, but they only had a block. So they were blocking about it and then they had an Excel spreadsheet and they realized it's not enough. So it will not serve if there's going to be any more uh, exposures in Finland. And actually we did have a lot since that. And uh, one of those team members knew Marco and me from, from the past. So he sent me a message in Twitter, uh, a private message and said, Heli, we need help. Do you know anybody who could help us? We don't know. We don't have any money. We just have a lot of passion. And during the night when I was sleeping, I realized, hey, come on, it has to be Oracle Cloud, the free tier, because that will not cost anything. And that's a technology we know and technology we like. So why not to use that? So we need to have a simple solution where we can very, very efficiently um, have some kind of uh, application for those users. So we don't have money for licenses and the money that we need to use for uh, maintaining and building the application should be very small. So when I woke up in the morning, I was like, hey, it's going to be Oracle Cloud. And I sent a message to my friend. I said, yes, we will do it. I have a solution. So the data is collected by volunteer people. Uh, exposures at schools and universities since 1st of August this year so this is when the schools were opened again. It's actually quite a lot as, as Finland is not a big country. And also this is all schools and this is comprehensive schools. In this view, uh, the users can go and check uh, per city or municipality, per category, comprehensive school, university and so on. Location, so the name of the school usually details this is unfortunately only in finnish so the detail tells what kind of exposure we are talking about if if it was in the school catering or it was uh, in a class or wherever it happened when was it published a link a url for the uh, news about it was it the variant of, vi of of this virus and if so do we know what variant it was and then a technical ID they can use if they want to contact us about this particular case. So we can use this ID for communication. What was it actually that the, the team wanted to accomplish? Like when you tackled the problem, you were approached with the blog, the data there and building something. So the first version started with the data. So we already had the data from the blog. So we were thinking this is what people want to see. And this is what our volunteers are able to maintain. So we started with that data. So the first application was around the data we had. When you have data in a database, you are much, much better off because you can do whatever. You can analyze it. You can put the data in a map, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So we were able to really automate a lot of things that they were doing manually so far. Being very honest, when we went to production uh, 10 days later, the exposures just went huge numbers at that particular day. So our volunteer people said that this was the last moment to really have a technical solution because we would not have managed this with all that data. So we have we had probably stopped uh, posting this information because it would have been too much work. When they mm -hmm. finally learned that when you have a real IT system, you can actually ask so much more. So right. they learned that they can ask a lot of things from us. And if they ask a new feature, usually Larry already does it for the next day. So every day we have 250,000 to 600,000 users. Yeah. So depending on the day, 600,000 is quite normal nowadays. When we started, also production was in free tier. And one evening uh, we had 300,000 people coming in in two hours. So that wow. day we had 600,000 people uh, visiting but 300,000 of those 600,000 were during two hours. Lowry, you are the Apex developer there. You're actually the, 
the person who implements those features that people have requested. Can you tell us a little bit more about, you know, how you roll out new features? Uh, when there's a new uh, request, what usually happens is that I will get a um, message from Heli or we, we discuss in the morning in our daily, okay, this is something that they need and maybe I talk, talk with the end users. So maybe some discussion with that and then uh, I do what do my magic. And I, I would say it's with Apex, it's 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 rather easy. It's easy to do. The nation recognized this application and you know pointed it out to population to use. That's a huge achievement. Um, did you get any other kind of recognition? Uh, it's been in many uh, newspapers and magazines during this month. So we are almost one year now. So it was twenty fifth mm -hmm. of September, if I if I'm not mistaken, when we went to production. So almost a year ago. Uh, so different kind of interviews to uh, IT magazines and the local news and all that kind of things. So it's, it's been interesting. And I believe you use Oracle spatial capabilities to essentially get from the data points and the locations of a reporting. Marco built the first version using Google Maps and we had one map in the application showing where the expo exposures are. And then I, I talked to Hans Fiemann from Oracle, and he told me that I actually can use, so I knew Spatial is for free, but mm -hmm. I didn't know the map service is also for free if I use it from Apex. I built similar map as, as Marco had with Google Maps, and it was actually very simple. And then I was thinking, what if I build more maps? So I built one heat, heat map with zip codes and another one with cities. So I had some algorithms deciding where to put those points at, so that the heat map looks correct. You can select the dates that you want to see and based on those dates it will show you how many exposures in each area. So this place has 153 and here we have 512. If you click you can go closer and see where the exposure has happened. The red ones are showing exposures that has happened the, during the past seven days. So these are the recent ones. This one is a kindergarten. It tells more information about it if you click it. You can also go and see the heat map we already saw in, in the front page about, about um, uh, the postal, the zip codes. Uh, you can here select also the dates so if you want to see just the, <clears throat> the previous ones or older ones and what do you want to see in the map. So here we can see in red color those that has the most exposures and it, it's getting cooler showing that there's not so many exposures in those areas. We are very proud that the data we have in a database is always correct. So it's always checked and it's always true. So we don't publish anything based on rumors. It always has to be a fact. Of course, thank you to Oracle to provide this uh, software to, for us. Yes. That was a nice thing to do. Yeah, especially now the production, because now we are able to use all the functionalities, not just the free ones, but everything. So that will probably uh, give us more possibilities what we can implement in the future. And it, it was uh, very fun to learn about the Oracle Cloud and Oracle Cloud features. And there are many features that I didn't know exist mm -hmm. at all. And uh, even, if, even in the feel free tier, but um, it is nice to know that uh, the cloud system has evolved so much and uh, provides so good features. It's been a fun project to see how, how fantastic the Apex community is, because there's always somebody helping if you have problems. And I have been enjoying working with the database because it's, it's <laughs> even better than it was before. So for me, it's, it's been a pleasure. So we had a great chance to work with autonomous database. And especially when, when the official uh, government's official office that's supposed to do that said this is impossible. And we were able to do it in 10 days. So I don't think it's so impossible. 